All right, it's market update time. Ippolito's Seafood Style. Last time I was here, it was the high holidays. Now it's summertime at the South Philadelphia Beautiful Fish Market. While this family-owned business always brings in exotic treats from around the globe, this local fish market specializes in locally sourced seafood. This week, both at Samuels and Ippies, check out Rhode Island whiting, bluefish, porgies, and fluke, along with inshore-caught squid, New Jersey scallops, and Carolina softshell crabs. And even while black bass and striped bass availability is somewhat limited, we have these local favorites as well. Now let's talk about Massachusetts seafood. We were lucky enough to meet up with one of the finest local fishing purveyors in the area. All right, do you really want to talk about local fish? Then this is the man to talk to. I'm here with Frank Ragusa, who is the director of Everything Fresh at Gloucester Seafood. So, Frank, thank you very much for taking the trip to Philly. Well, I appreciate it. First time out here. We're excited about it. Good, good. We're glad to have you here. Now, uh, a lot of people talk about um, traceability. They talk about family fishing. They talk about quality, sustainability. You guys really walk the walk. Uh, could you tell me, where are your fish predominantly caught, who's catching them, and how do you keep them so fresh when they arrive in Samuels? The Gloucester is the oldest fishing community, commercial fishing community in the country. Wow. Matter of fact, it was an original natural resource that built the country. So we've got the, the plant right there. We've got the relationships with all the vessels. We deal with all those families. Then we get right off the boat. We process it in Gloucester, all only from Boston, only Gloucester. Hold on. Only Gloucester fish. So we've invested in the Gulf of Maine. We don't bring in Icelandic fish or any imports. All our fish is based out of that Gulf of Maine basin, all U.S. product, only from those local fishermen. That's it. And these are long-lived uh, traditional fishermen, the family passed down from generation to generation. That's kind of how Gloucester does Gloucester's it. Gloucester's always been a fishing town. We try to want to maintain it as a fishing town. And by doing that, we're supporting these fishermen. And now I, along with many customers, have seen just the outstanding product you have. What do you guys do differently that keeps it so fresh and does separate it from other products? Because our relationships are directly with boats, we do deal with trip boats, which go off for a couple of days. Yeah. We also have a lot of day boats in Gloucester that work. And those are the ones that really need our help. Well, I actually need everybody's help to stay in business. Um, but our plant being so close, it's 10 minutes from the dock. We unload. We usually unload fish only that we're going to sell for that day. We don't stock a bunch of fish. So we'll bring in what we need, cut it that day, ship it out that day. The plant itself, much like the, the Samuels plant, state of the art. And it's little things like we have a boot room where the, the workers can't take their boots outside, so they don't bring any contaminants in. We give them a set of Crocs. They wear the Crocs in the plant and downstairs, but the boots never leave the plant. Neither do they grind in, so they don't go outside and bring anything in. So the contaminants don't get on the fish, which give a better shelf life. I want to say thank you, Frank. Now, uh, we always have a debate here, and you're from the area. Is it scallops or is it scallops? Scallops. What's that? Scallops. So it's up there at scallops. Scallops. Okay. Not scallops. scallops. The debate... It's just going to continue here at Samuels. Frank, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Okay, let's get back to some updates. Now, we do recommend speaking with your sales up regarding mahi, swordfish, and snow crab availability, as it is limited now. Now, you can also take advantage of a brand new product Samuels is offering. We have Florida Aquaculture Pompano. These are about one and a quarter to one and three quarter pound fish, great for a, just a full plate. So, we will be bringing them in coming up this week. Speak of your sales regarding availability on this new favorite at Samuels. Do you want to go on a week-long trip to New Zealand? I sure do, but unfortunately I'm not much of a chef. But you guys are. So if you're an Aura King Salmon user, please visit orakingsalmon.com slash auras because they are hosting a great contest where you can simply send in a recipe and if you are the winner, they'll send you to New Zealand to their farm and a beautiful week-long trip. All right, time for one of Ippolita's famous fish hoagies. This week, remember, both at Ippies and Samuels, we're not broadcasters, we're fish people.